You voted against a farm bill, which would, among other things, reauthorize programs for rural development, agricultural research, and food and nutrition. What was your logic, and what would it take to get your vote? Well, I didn't vote for the farm bill because it wasn't conservative enough. We worked so hard to get work requirements to be applied to food stamps. That's an issue that over 80 percent of the American people agree with us on. But then all of the savings we got from instituting work requirements were plowed back into failed big government programs purportedly for the workforce but that have not shown sufficient effectiveness or linkage to the industry certifications that are actually in demand in the workforce. So it's just like Washington. Every time we save a dollar with good reform, we have to spend that dollar on things that have not demonstrated that they'll improve quality of life for people. So uh, that's why I'm hoping that we can get a more conservative farm bill and get the few votes we need to send it over to the Senate for the other things that are very good in the legislation. What are those good things? And also, would you be willing to risk a government shutdown come September 30th if you don't get uh, those concessions? I don't think that anyone's talking about a shutdown. Uh, obviously, there are elements of crop insurance in the farm bill that we like. You've mentioned a number of safety net programs that the federal government uh, does need to and does intend to reauthorize. But, you know, if Speaker Ryan really wants to fight for a welfare reform agenda, we need to make sure that the savings that we get as a consequence of that welfare reform isn't squandered away in the, in the vestiges of government, but instead is directed to improve quality of life for the American people and possibly improve our deficit position and our debt position that right now will choke the American economy with over a trillion dollars needed each and every year to be sucked out of the private sector to fund big government. Uh, Congressman, are you concerned at all that you and some fellow conservatives there might overplay your hand and actually drive some other Republicans into the arms of the Democrats and you end up with a bill that would be much less attractive than what you have now? Well, I don't know why it would ever be a political risk for any Republican to be on the right side of an 80-20 issue. A vast majority of Americans support work requirements, and they don't want to see the savings from those work requirements plowed into programs that haven't demonstrated efficacy. So I think that we ought to have broad support, not only among conservative and more moderate Republicans, but we ought to have independent thinking Democrats working with us to have a welfare program that encourages work and not multi-generational dependence on the government. Congressman, I want to turn to another hot topic in Washington right now, and that is the question of a possible investigation of the FBI and the Justice Department. Uh, we had the president over the weekend saying that he's going to instruct the Department of Justice to do an investigation. Uh, aren't there enough investigations going on already, and are you at all concerned that we could undermine some of our law enforcement agencies by all of the investigations, frankly, some of the things that's being said about them? Well, look, the vast majority of people in law enforcement are patriots who are working in this country and all over the world to ensure that we live in safe and free societies. But the problem with the president's tweet is that he literally directs the Department of Justice to investigate themselves. Uh, you are right that we've got plenty of investigations where the Justice Department and FBI are investigating themselves. What we need is a second special counsel, someone who can bring an independent look to the very serious allegations that have been brought to bear. Uh, if we really had people spying on a rival political campaign and uh, trumping up uh, allegations of foreign collusion that didn't exist, that would be very serious. And whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or an independent or a Whig, you should want to make sure that our institutions are strong enough so that we don't have this type of spying going on on rival political campaigns in the future. But we need an independent special counsel to look at that, not someone who's housed in the Department of Justice. President Trump's lawyer, Mr. Giuliani, said that the special counsel, in fact, hoped to finish the probe by September 1st. First of all, what have you heard? And if that's the case, wouldn't another probe risk distracting the government even more? Well, I have not heard that the special counsel is about to wrap up his probe. I believe Mr. Giuliani made those comments in, in the context of setting up an interview between <laughs> President Trump and Robert Mueller. And I would say any lawyer that recommends that Donald Trump interview with Robert Mueller needs to immediately put their malpractice insurance carrier on notice. That would be a tragic decision. That should not happen. That would be a perjury trap based on the bias we've seen in the Mueller investigation, the tactics they've used. And so, again, I think in that context, we should expect the Mueller probe to go on for some time, and that is distracting and very concerning to me.